Hello, I'm CJ Wellerman. Please remember to click the subscribe button below. Now let's get into it. For years, Bollywood has produced movies that otherize and dehumanize Muslims. But in more recent times, it has churned out a conveyor belt of propaganda to lend support to the Hindu nationalist agenda. But alarmingly, Western democracies and even Muslim countries are totally unprepared for the coming wave of racist hate that's about to land on their shores. The recent attacks on Muslims by Hindu extremists in the United Kingdom is a preview of the kind of communal unrest and violence Bollywood propaganda will soon unleash in countries with large Indian migrant populations. To put it bluntly, Bollywood has become India's Radio Rwanda because its films are being used to incite genocide against Muslims the same way Radio Rwanda incited the Hutu majority to commit genocide against the Tutsi minority in the African country just three decades ago. This is a realistic and terrifying comparison, remembering that Bollywood is more powerful and influential than even Hollywood, given Indian produced movies reach 3 billion viewers each year, compared to Hollywood's 2.6 billion annual viewers. In other words, consider Bollywood a globalized radio Rwanda. But it's the newly released film, The Kerala Story, that should shock us all. It landed in cinemas across India last week. It tells a story that gives life and credibility to the bogus and vile Hindu nationalist conspiracy theory that claims Muslims are committing love jihad by forcibly converting Hindu women to Islam. The movie claims 32,000 Hindu and Christian women in the Indian state of Kerala were converted to Islam and taken to ISIS-ruled Syria to become brides for the terrorist group at the peak of its powers. The film's storyline is not only viciously anti-Muslim and pro-Hindu nationalist, but also worse. Its producers and supporters are claiming it's based on true events, despite there being zero evidence such events took place during the ISIS era. In fact, the film's producers testified under oath to a judge that the story is totally false, but the movie's promotional materials still claim it's based on true events. Needless to say, this piece of Hindu extremist propaganda is going to get a lot of Muslims killed in the coming weeks and months. You see, the Love Jihad conspiracy is not only helping Modi's party win elections by whipping up hate towards Muslims among the Hindu majority, but also this hateful conspiracy has been turned into actual legislation in India's largest state, where this Muslim-hating monk rules. Hindu naam rakh karke, pehle behkate hain, aur phir ye love jihad, aur isi ke khilaap sakt kanun humne pradesh ke andar iske khilaap bhi manaya hai. The state of Kerala is significant to this film's propagandized narrative because it's one of the five big Indian states in the southern part of the country that Modi's Hindu nationalist government does not control. Which is why the movie's message is simple to understand. And it says that Muslims are secretly plotting to turn India into an Islamic caliphate, a fate that only India's Hindu Nationalist Party can prevent. This lie is getting Muslims lynched and killed by murderous Hindu mobs. But before we go on, we urgently need your help to counter injustices in the Muslim world. So please consider supporting my journalism at patreon.com slash CJ Willerman. You'll be helping me bring these stories to a broader audience. Thank you. Now back to our show. Now, while it's true that Bollywood has always profited from playing up the good Hindu versus the evil and scheming Muslim narrative, what we are witnessing today is synchronization between Bollywood and the Hindu nationalist ideology. In fact, in the past two years alone, Bollywood has churned out more than 20 films that ties Indian nationalism to Hindutva, an ideology that wishes to transform India and Kashmir into a Hindu-only state. We've seen this in all of these films, but this synchronization reached its peak last year with the Kashmir Files, 
which propagandized bogus claims about an alleged Hindu genocide that never actually took place in the Muslim-majority territory in the 1990s. We unpacked all of this movie's lies in an episode last year. I encourage you to watch it. The movie wants you to believe that Kashmir belongs to India, that Pakistan is the root of all violence while equating the Hindu religion with Indian nationalism. This film radicalized thousands of Hindus into violence. Watch here as Kashmir Files audiences called for Muslim blood. <laughs> Notably, Bollywood also uses more subtle techniques to vilify Muslims as a foreign other. For example, because Indian Muslims look no different to Indian Hindus and typically dress in the same kind of clothing during their daily lives, Bollywood producers deliberately exaggerate a Muslim character's Muslim appearance to reinforce the hindered for notion that religious minorities are outside the mainstream, as depicted in this comedy here. Ultimately, Bollywood film studios are churning out Hindu nationalist propaganda for one simple reason. It's profitable to do so because an overwhelming majority of India's Hindus have become radicalized with the Hindu for ideology, which means movies that reinforce anti-Muslim hatred are guaranteed to sell millions of movie tickets. Film studio executives also know that films that promote the Modi regime's narrative are unlikely to meet resistance in seeking filming permissions from the government, whereas movies that express the opposite sentiment are routinely banned under Modi's increasingly authoritarian rule. I mean, even this show has been banned in India by the Modi regime for reporting human rights abuses against Muslims. Incredible. A nuclear armed state. Afraid of my YouTube channel. Scary. But further worrying is that we also are seeing Bollywood's anti-Muslim hatred seep into India's mainstream pop music scene, where the Hindu ideology is being turned up full blast. Clearly, Western democracies and Muslim countries have a responsibility to ban the Bollywood film industry from their shores. In Australia, the United States, Canada and Europe, laws are put in place to protect vulnerable citizens from hate speech. These laws must be enforced against Hindu nationalist propagandized movies because they sow division, undermine democracy and incite violence against Muslims, which is why countries such as Singapore and New Zealand move to ban the Kashmir files in their respective countries. Others now must follow their lead, because to put it simply, we don't allow Nazi propaganda films that spread hatred about the Jewish people to screen in our cinemas. So it's just plain obvious that we shouldn't allow Bollywood to air its Hindu nationalist driven anti-Muslim hatred. Our governments need to wake up to this threat, so sign online petitions calling for a ban on Bollywood hate. Anyway, that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we kindly ask you please support this endeavor by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash CJ Wellerman. We can't produce, sustain and grow the show without your help and we offer exclusive benefits to those who do. 
But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are, and stay blessed. Thank you.